In this lesson, we will be solving a quadratic uh, function by factoring or solving a quadratic equation. And more specifically, in this one, the a is greater than 1, okay, and the ax squared. Okay. Now, remember, first of all, we want to write this in standard form. Uh, we have variables on both sides. We want to set it equal to 0. So we're going to uh, get rid of what's on the right side. All right, so now it says it says 6x squared plus 6x minus 1 equals negative 5x minus 4. So I'm going to start by moving the minus 5x. When we do that, it becomes a plus 5x. So we can write it as plus 5x on the left side. That cancels it on the right side, okay? And then also, the minus 4 would become a plus 4 on the left side, and that would cancel it on the right, okay? So now all we have left is 0 on the right side, okay? And then if I start working over here, the x squared is 6x squared. We'll just bring that straight down. So 6x squared. And then we have plus 6x plus 5x so 6 plus 5 is 11 so that's going to be plus 11x and then we have a negative 1 plus a 4 well negative 1 plus 4 is negative I'm sorry is positive 3 so we're going to write plus 3 so now we have it written in standard form we have ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, all right? Well, remember, if we're going to be factoring, we use the x game, but in this example, we have an, uh, an a that's greater than one. So we're actually going to use the star method. So we start out with the x, but then we add this additional line, and we'll call this the star method. So again, we're still finding a times c, or the, the factors of a times c that equal b. But then we're going to write our a here and our a here as well. Just follow along, okay? Now, a times c, that's 6 times 3, which is 18, so we need to find the factors of 18, whose sum is b, which is 11, whose sum is 11, and then remember we're just going to write the a, which is 6 here, all right? So now, again, we're looking for the factors of 18 that equal 11. Well, the factors of 18, I can go ahead and write them out for you. That would be 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. Well, the factors that we're going to use is 9 times 2. 9 times 2 equals 18, and 9 plus 2 equals 11, okay? But we're going to write that here. We're going to write our 9 and our 2, okay? So what this says is uh, 6x... 6x plus 9 would be one of our factors, and 6x plus 2. However, we need to simplify these, okay? So think of this uh, as a fraction. 6x over 9 would become, or, or the fraction 6 ninths, let me write that over here. The fraction 6 over 9, when we simplify that or reduce that, is going to become 2 thirds okay so in the star method then this 6x plus 9 is actually going to become 2x plus 3 so we have one of our factors is 2x plus 3 
And then the other factor, we have a 6x plus 2. Well, we can simplify this because a 6 and a 2 have in common 2. All right? Or it's kind of an improper fraction, so 2 goes into 6 three times. So that's actually going to simplify to a 3 over a 1. So that's 3x plus 1. 3x plus 1. Okay. So now that we have found our binomials, when we've factored this quadratic, okay, what we do is set these two equal to zero. So we're going to take 2x plus 3 and set it equal to zero. And we're going to take 3x plus 1 and set it equal to zero. All right. Well, when we do that, we're going to, uh, we can either say we're going to move the 3 over and it becomes negative 3, or we're subtracting 3 from both sides. But basically, our equation becomes 2x equals negative 3. And then this is an equation that we have to be able to solve 2x equals negative 3. We divide both sides by 2, and x equals negative 1 and a half. Or you could leave it as, you could say negative 3 halves, or um, is fra um, decimal form is negative 1.2. All right? Now, in the other one, We have 3x plus 1 equals 0. So we're going to move the plus 1 over and it becomes negative 1. So it's going to be 3x equals negative 1. Because remember, we subtracted 1 from both sides. Or we moved this plus 1 over and it became negative 1. Now if 3x equals negative 1, we have to divide by the 3 because 3 divided by 3 is 1, so now we know x equals negative 1 third, all right? So we could just simply say x equals negative 1 third, or we could have written that as negative 0.33, all right? So those are your two answers. Now that's a long problem, but those are the two answers. Okay, you can read that in fraction form or decimal form. And that's, uh, that's the most challenging ones that you have to factor where A is greater than one or not equal to one.